Okay, so uh, these two lovely people came to invite me for this conference. And meeting them was a seriously life-changing moment for me. Um, when I started writing, I was seen as one of those young writers, you know, the, the new generation of writers uh, that is doing something interesting. Uh, when I directed my first film, I was one of those young directors, right? So I was always a young something, and therefore I always thought of myself as the current generation, and along with the current generation, I kept cribbing about the previous generation, as every generation does. That day when these two students came to invite me, I was shocked. I was looking at them, and I said, was I ever that young? I just didn't have a memory of having ever been that young, right? And a few days before that, I'd hit my 40th birthday. And these events, um, in combination, very clearly hurled me into being the previous generation for you guys. So this is actually my first talk ever as officially the previous generation. I think there's a tremendous uh, moral to the story, if one may call it that. Why did I think I was younger? Largely because all of us have a residual memory of ourselves. There's a way we remember our face that may or may not have anything to do with how we actually look. Anybody that you spend 10 minutes with on any given day probably knows more about the way you look on that day than you do. But all of us have a residual memory. This is how I look. And that may be changing, and yet your image of yourself often doesn't keep up with that. The same thing is true of the kind of person you are. When we all start out, most of us are good. Most of us are fair. Most of us are courageous. Um, most of us have an innate sense of what's right and wrong, and we are willing to work according to that. And so all of us have a residual memory of being good people, of being fair people, of being brave people. There's something very dangerous about holding on to that kind of a residual memory without constantly putting yourself through certain reality checks. Am I still a good person? Am I still making moral choices? Am I still a brave person? Have I still remained all those things that very early on I decided I am, but I've not evaluated maybe in the last five years if I'm still as good as I like to think I am? I think one of the most important things for your generation is going to be constantly evaluating what you really are. In the age of the internet, you have a serious situation where there's very little at stake for all your decisions and all your actions. You can be brave, but it might not take too much courage because you're just one of the million voices out there and maybe you're completely anonymous. So you can make a brave political statement. You can be weak, you can be prejudiced, you can be xenophobic, you can be abusive, and it's fine. The facelessness and the anonymity of the internet allows you that. In the face of being able to be anything without consequence, can you hold on to who you are? Unfortunately, our generation, this is the first time I'm saying that, our generation is going to be bequeathing a very strange world to you, a world in which certain things that would have been unthinkable to a previous, more moral generation, perhaps, are going to be institutional here. The idea that you make policy decisions as a country, being influenced by not just your innate sense of right and wrong, but by commercial interests, economic interests, balance of power, these things are becoming completely rational. These things are becoming expected. You would not be a pragmatic person or a pragmatic leader if you weren't doing this. Where does it stop? I think it's going to be very important for all of you to keep evaluating who you are, what are your choices, and even if you're making choices that are riddled with you know, fallacies, riddled with weak choices, the least you can do is be brave enough to face up to who you are. 
and that's and I can just wish you all the best. Most importantly, it's it's good that you guys are all here doing this in person in one place, having come from wherever you are, rather than having this conference on 2,005.1 inch screens. So all the best, and I hope it's a great conference for you. Cheers.